The M1 iMac was released in 2021 and was the first redesigned to the iMac line in some time. With it came thinner bezels, thinner display, upgraded internals, but obviously with the thin design, Apple had to make some design choices on where to put the internals. That kind of didn't fit behind the display. And believe it or not, the M1 iMac was a huge redesign, as the entire main board of the computer fits inside just that small little chin. But here we are, in 2023, and Apple has just refreshed the Mac Mini and the MacBook Pros, boosted to the M2 chips. So is it a good idea to buy an iMac in 2023? Let's get into it. First, if you are new to the channel, my name is Evan and welcome to the channel. If you like Apple products, smart home tech, and tech inside the content creation world, then you have come to the right place. Feel free to check out a few of my other videos. When Apple released the M1 iMac, they had only updated one model. The 27-inch iMac was never brought forward to the new Apple Silicon. And I believe that Apple wants users to lean more towards an iMac mini and a studio display instead. As you can get the M2 Pro in the new Mac mini, and the studio display is right there at 27 inches. This makes sense as well in the price category, as it is pretty comparable to the 27 inch iMac. Instead of having the all-in-one, now you can upgrade your Mac mini every few years and don't have to pay the full 27 inch price and you can keep that great display recent rumors have said that apple is working on two new models of the imac their code names are j433 and j434 and are slated to be released later this year but my guess is they are not ready yet so that they have been moved to the end of the year or early next year but according to the rumors, Apple is working on some changes to the iMac itself. I believe that they wouldn't change the look of the iMac yet. Only other piece that I think that they would change is the stand. My guess is that the updates to the stand may include height adjustments to the iMac, which would allow users to change the height and the angle that the iMac would stand on your desk. Something that the current iMac or previous generations of the iMac do not allow you to do. And this would bring forward some of the upgrades from the studio display. With these rumors and timing, this might just suggest that Apple is going to release the next iMac as the first device with the M3 processor inside. And with two new models, the launch could be very similar to how the Mac Mini was just updated. Along with the regular M3 iMac, we will also see an M3 Pro version of the iMac. Or, now, hear me out, could we get an M3 iMac, say, quarter two or quarter three, along with the rumored MacBook Air refresh? Then, we get an M3 Pro iMac later this year, early next year with another model also receiving the chip bump. I want to say the Mac Pro, but that most likely won't receive the M3, more like the M2 Ultra. That would be quite a launch. And maybe right before Christmas. But they may do a separate release just for the Mac Pro due to it is their highest performing computer their almighty computer finally moving over to Apple Silicone, but we will see. Other upgrades are not really necessary. I think if they do bring the stand into the iMac line, that would be a big enough change for it. I know a lot of people are asking for Face ID to be built into the iMac, but I am really not sure when that is coming. The MacBook Pros have shown promise, but still, with two releases, Face ID is still not baked into those either. But if you think about it, the Apple Watch already unlocks your computer without a password. And Apple being Apple probably likes that. So if they do bring Face ID to the Mac, users may stop buying watches. And before you say it, they're out there. You know they are. An M3 upgrade and an adjustable stand would be a worthy upgrade. But let's get back to the question. 
should you buy an M1 iMac in 2023? No, I do not think that you should buy an M1 iMac right now. The M1 chip in the iMac is two years old and is becoming a little dated, you could say. But if you were in dire need of a new family computer and the iMac is the perfect fit, and you really don't care about the spec bump, and you just want the new model, then by all means. But for anyone that is using this for anything other than browsing the web, then you should wait for the new one to be released. Or you should look at the Mac Mini lineup and go for that route. Yes, you won't get the Retina display, but you can go for the Studio display, as I mentioned. And you don't even have to pick it up right away. Down the line, you could upgrade that current monitor that you have lying on your desk. That would just be the best bang for your dollar, as you are getting a better all-around computer, as well as when you do make that jump to the Pro Display, you will be getting a better display as well. So we will wait and see what happens next. Do you think that Apple will release a new M3 iMac in 2023? And would you pick it up? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next week.